Okay, we're going to use Fusion to draw the step ladder. This first video, we're going to draw the, the front legs. Uh, our end result should look like this uh, the fully completed step ladder that's rendered in Fusion. Uh, we will be using the sizes that we find here uh, in the plan, all the information here that we're going to need. First thing we need to know is the front legs. This is what we're doing here. 915 long by 65 by 19 and there's two of them so let's go create a sketch one of these vertical planes uh, start with the line tool click in the center make sure we're at 180 degrees so following out along the red line and don't click but simply type 915 press enter enter again and enter again and I'll zoom backwards so I can see the complete line. All right, line tool at an angle. Uh, don't worry about the size or the angle yet. We'll sort that in a minute. Click straight across. It'd be nice if you can get it parallel first time, but if not, I'll show you how to set that. So I'm deliberately not doing it parallel. Click and click again. So rough shape. Now we're going to choose over in the sketch palette here we're going to choose the parallel lines button and make this line parallel with this one and we're going to make this one parallel with this one. We'll go to the dimension tool or we could have pressed D on the keyboard. This line needs to be 65 millimeters from that line. So we type 65, press enter, and the angle here, I've already worked this out, you can simply do what I do, which is 107 degrees, so type 107, press enter, done. We're going to stop the sketch, let's zoom back, and we're going to extrude. So click on the sketch, Click once, extrude to 19 millimeters, and press enter. Now we just need to do the cutouts for the steps, the housing joints. So we create a new sketch. This time, click on the flat surface here. Click, and we're going to draw just a series of lines at an angle. Don't worry about the angle or the size, but do make sure that they start on an edge and they finish on edge. Those little crosses uh, have to show up. So make sure you get the crosses before you click. And don't worry about the placement or anything yet. We'll sort that in a second. Now we've got the parallel lines button again. So click over here, parallel lines. First line is this one. And simply go through and click each line as long as you do the line with another one that's already parallel with the end it'll work they're all parallel with the edges dimension tool button between each line they should be 19 so just go through make those 19 apart Right, I'm just going to go back to my plan. So if we look here, the distance from the bottom to the bottom of the first step is 210. Then from the bottom of that step to the next is 235. And the same for the next one. So I'm just going to remember that, 210 and 235. I'll come back to here. So this is going to be my bottom on the right hand side. So click on the dot. This time, not the line, the dot, and from one dot to the next dot, 210. The next one, from the dot to the dot, 235. From the dot to the dot, 235. So just make sure we're going from the bottom to the bottom, to the bottom, to the bottom. We're going to stop the sketch now. 
will extrude. And we just simply click on each of those sketches and we could drag the arrow but it's hard to get the size we want. It's going to be much easier if I simply type minus 9. Make sure the operation says cut and click OK. We've finished one of the legs now we need to create the second leg and we're going to do that very easily by doing a command called a mirror which is under here but we can't do that yet we have to create um, something like we have to create the mirror so we're going to create a offset plane so click the offset plane button which will either be in here or that's the one on the top so we click on this surface I've already done the calculation so it's simply type in 176 it puts the plane 176 away from that face click OK now we're going to do the mirror so we click on the mirror command and it makes sure the pattern type is not on faces but it's on bodies change it if you need to the, now it's asking what object do you want to mirror so we click on that it should go blue it should say one selected. Now what plane do you want to mirror? So we're going to select this plane. And there we go. Click OK. Alright, next thing we need to do is stand these up the way they're going to sit. So we don't need this plane anymore, so we can actually turn that off. So we click this little down arrow. Now let's just click on the light bulb that turns that plane off so it doesn't we don't see it anymore. Right. Now under modify we're going to hit this move tool or we could have hit M on the keyboard. So move. Now it's asking us uh, we need to move bodies so make sure we click we've got bodies selected. It's asking us what bodies and what type of move. We're going to do a rotate. We want to select both these bodies. So go over here to our browser, click the down arrow, click both bodies. I'm holding down control so I get both selected. So we should it should say two selections, rotate. Next thing is the axis. The axis we want to rotate on is this little edge down here. So see how that's highlights black? Make sure you don't get the wrong edge this one and click and we simply rotate the tool the way it's going to sit. So notice here uh, it's a negative degree so we're actually going to type this one in because it's going to again it's going to be hard to get the exact size that we want because we want 107 or negative 107. So simply type in minus 107 and press enter. We've just completed our front legs and the first tutorial.